Hey, what's up guys? Dark Worker here, and for today's video, we are going to do a collaboration again with Health Devil. We're going to spectate his Narsus gameplay, and hopefully, uh, we are going to do a question and answer. I'm going to ask him some questions about Narsus, how to play him correctly in high elo. Anyways, Health Devil, how are you? Yo, man, it's good being back here. I missed you and uh, everyone. Yo. <laughs> So, um, yeah, Nasus is one of those champions I really don't like to play too much because he, I would say in the early game, he is not that great. So how do you go with Nasus in the early game? So like, you can already see, you can already see that I'm doing something that you never do with any other champion, which is just wait in the bush and hit the minions. Although the thing about Nasus is that you should really draft him correctly. Like, honestly, he is kind of trash. But if you draft him correctly, he could, like, I genuinely believe, I'm not trolling here, I genuinely believe he can be S-tier champion if you draft him correctly. And, yes, so, well, like, how do you draft him correctly, of course, is the next question. So, mm -hmm. obviously, you have to pick him against a good matchup in your lane. And that's champions like Malphite, Cannon, um, and, you know, you should be fine against any other matchup if you play safe, except for, for example, Darius. Like, Darius is one of the worst matchups for Nas, and I really, like, you should never... Yeah, he's, he's super Darius. aggressive and can zone yeah. you. I would say, like you said, AP champions, except for Kali, are usually pretty easy because you could go for yeah, Spirit Kenry, Visage, for getting really exactly. tanky, and they can do anything against you, and you can just keep farming up, stacking up your first ability. Exactly, and so, that's what it's all about. Stacking up yeah. your first ability, and you can see that that's all I'm doing right now. I'm not taking any fights, you know, just... Getting my first ability on the minions, stacking up as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. And also you created a slow push into your lane. So the wave is pretty much frozen into your favor. So it's really good for you to last it right now. Pretty easy. And... Yeah. Oh, you're kind of... Okay, he's, he's going yeah, to die. Yeah. He's going to die. Unlucky. So uh, indeed, as you mentioned, a very, very, very important thing about Nasus is wave management. And like... It's probably the most important thing about Nas because if you don't manage the wave well, except uh, especially in high elo, then the enemy is gonna abuse you. Like if the enemy can freeze the wave under their like on their side, you are screwed. Like you're absolutely yeah, exactly. screwed. You cannot go up and get the minions. You just can't because they're gonna win against you in the early game. Every single champion is just gonna destroy you, or the jungler is gonna gank you or something like that. Like right now, the lane is kind. It kind of sucks for me. So what I need to do is I need to push it as fast as possible and like. Um, I should push it a fa as fast as possible, get my stacks, and then go back, get items. That's what I should do. I don't know mm -hmm. if I actually do it, but let's see. I mean, the wave is pushing into Malphite anyway, so just going to get the cannon and then reset, I guess. Okay, so the reason that I didn't reset, actually, like, normally I would reset, but Evelyn was in the top lane, so I decided that I could get one more wave here. And Yeah, yeah true, uh, true. Yeah, I could get one more wave and it should be fine. That, and then I should back off and get my items. And I'm fine against that Malphite because Malphite can't kill me. If he ults me, I can mm. ult as well. And I should be fine. And he's kind of low mana already, so he can't really do yeah, too much. Exactly. So what item builds do you usually go for? Like, if you're playing against a tank, what items do you go for? If you're playing against a Bruiser matchup or if you're playing against AP matchups, what is your item build that you like to go on Nasus? Um, honestly, I always start with Trinity, but if the enemy has champions like uh, like very annoying AP champions like Akali, maybe Cannon, mm -hmm. what I what I like to do is I like to get the tier one magic resist, the t like the 500 gold magic resist before finishing my Trinity force. It's very very nice in the early game because it's gonna give you a lot of sustain in the lane. Um, the thing about Nasus is though, you just need a little defense in the early game, play it safe and you're gonna heal up because of your passive, because you have insane lifesteal because of how Nasus works. And as you can see here, I'm not rotating to the dragon, because we really cannot fight them. It's better for me to stay in this lane. This is a very important thing about Nasus. Um, so would you always um, stay in your lane and never move for the dragon? Maybe exception yeah. Inferno, or what's your uh, goal usually? So the thing is, oh, here, by the way, you know, this is also a thing that you can do on Nasus. You can just run people down. It doesn't matter. Boom. So um, when the first dragon spawns, I would say in like 70% of the games, I would not rotate. And um, I'll get back to you about the Inferno uh, after it. 
So the thing about Nas is he just sucks. Like he, he like if you don't have the Trinity Force, even though you have level five, you're really not gonna do much. And even if you are gonna do much, I'm gonna tell you why it still sucks to rotate because you want to get your stacks. And honestly, the stacks are more important than a normal dragon because um, if you stay in your lane and the enemy laner rotates. It's true that your team is going to lose Dragon, but you're going to get a lot of stacks and you can even get the turret. And the thing with Nas mm -hmm. is you can even use your ultimate to get the turret because the cooldown of your first ability is going to be halved. So it should be easy turret then. And if you do that, you're going to be 2k ahead. 2,000 gold ahead. It's definitely worth the Dragon. So here I'm still like... I'm still quite weak. Although, as you could see, I have four and a half thousand gold, which is way more than everyone. And the reason for that is, of course, because I'm farming hard. I never really want to leave my lane in there. I guess Malfoy is a pretty free matchup for you because he can't exactly. really kill you and you can just keep farming like as long as he doesn't impact the other objectives. Like he's going to rotate, trying to gank and maybe flank on top of them, get an uh, engage on. But he doesn't do anything of that. So Pretty much a free lane. You also got the solo kill onto him. So right now this Malphite doesn't have any impact and you're still scaling. You're still scaling so and yes. the more stacks, the stronger Nasu is going to become, obviously. Exactly. And a bit of, and also a very important thing about Nasus, which, which some people don't really understand, is uh, some people think that you should only farm on Nasus. Even if in the mid game, you should only farm. But that's not true. It's kind of funny because Nasus is actually stronger in the like uh, a little later than mid game, like not late game, but a little after mid game, he is super strong and then he actually falls off a little bit. And you might think like, how, how does he fall off? So he obviously doesn't fall off, but the enemy is going to get full builds. But they're actually yeah, they're just going to shred you. Like, yes. It, in yes. between we'll mid and late game, he's probably the strongest. And exactly. then late game, the ADCs are just going to shred you no matter what. Look at this, they cannot kill me. They can actually not, they can't kill me. This is the power of Nasus. And yeah, as you said, the ADC is going to have Mortal Reminder. The enemy uh, ability power carriers are going to have Void Staff. This is all going to shred right through you. And you know that then you're actually not going to be that strong anymore. But in the later in the mid game, like a little after the mid game, you're going to be super strong and the enemy is likely not going to have a Void Staff because they're still at their like second, third item. So that's when you need to abuse Nasus. That's when you need to rotate to Dragons, rotate to Jungle. And you'll see me do it in this game. Like right now, we're still in the mid game. I'm still going to farm a little bit. But after that, it's going to be rotating and killing. So here, I can easily take the fight with the with the Malphite. He's not going to outsustain me. And it's worth to do this because I will heal up. He won't. Like in the lane, I'm just going to heal up from the means, as you can see. Every time I'm trading with him. Yeah, he can't and, really trade against you. Yeah. And the thing about Nas too is your team kind of has to play around you. And it could possibly be a little problematic to play Nas in solo queue because... Um, if your team is not very knowledgeable about how Nasus works, then they might blame you for not rotating or, you know, just say Nasus is useless, blah, 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 Surre surrender the game even, while you are like a monster in the, in the late game, you know? So the dragon is spawning soon, actually. And mm, it's kind of hard to decide here what I should do, because as you can see, two of my teammates already died, which kind of sucks. I still decide to go to the dragon, however, because I feel like I have the huge power stack. Oh, and it's Infer uh, L um, yeah, Inferno, of course. So right now, I am pretty much at my strongest. Almost at my strongest, I would say. But this is when you want to fight. This is when you are going to absolutely run the enemy down in the team fights. And mm -hmm. if I do it correctly, I sh we should definitely win this fight. And Maybe you have Glory as well, which is going to... Exactly. So take a look at this. We are 3 on 11, but I'm Nasus. And let's take a look at what's going to happen. I'm just going for the Evelyn. There it is. Easy fight. This is how you play Nasus. You fight when you get like in the later, in, you know, mid late game. And we got the uh, mm -hmm. Infernal Dragon as well. Okay, you're jumping you in see. and she just dies. I really nice. wanted to kill the dinner. There it is, yet another kill. And now you want to keep the advantage. Oh, this is so close. <laughs> I actually flashed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, I see some Nasus players, they would probably stay in their lane, but that's not what you want to do. During the second dragon, you're supposed to have like 200 stacks. Um, even 150 is okay, but 200 is ideal. 
And then mm-hmm. you are going to be way, way stronger than the enemy. That's your huge Nasus power spike. You can solo carry the team fight. Actually, their Evelyn is 9 on 1. I, <laughs> it's crazy. Super fat. But it's not a problem because I'm Nasus. Evelyn cannot kill a Nasus easily. <laughs> you can just build, uh, what is that item called? The Spirit Visage, yes. Yeah, Spirit Visage. Or do you, would you go Force of Nature now? Because it gives you movement speed as well. I mean, Spirit Visage gives you healing. So, yeah. which of those two items do you usually go for? In this case? So, so if I think about it, I would I would say ninety five percent of the time Spirit Visage, and maybe the only reason you would go for Force of Nature, if the enemies have like a lot of anti heal, and like if if well, how do you see if they have anti heal? If they've already built Thor Mill, maybe if they have a Kat- Katarina, mm-hmm, because yeah. Katarina, Katarina Ultimate uh, puts. Grievous wounds on you, you know, basically if the enemy has a lot of grievous wounds, you can go for force of nature That only that pretty much. Otherwise spirit visage is like a core item on Nasus So let's take a look. I'm just ignoring the Malphite here, you know, I'm just taking the turret Yeah, he, he doesn't do any damage to you anyway, so exactly just take the turret. Get that plant. Yeah, you do Yes, I get the plant of course and he does should be able to kiss one. one. Yep. This was a very, very nice outplay, actually. I just I just ran down the turret, and then I killed the Malphite on top of it. Really, really nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Starok's Gage is also a great item on Nasus, because he has a lot of base damage, and um, the extra survivability that it provides you is very, very, very great. Like, when you're running the enemies down, uh, when you get the Starok's Gage shield, you know, it's very, very nice. They say, don't risk it. I don't really know what they talked about. <laughs> I mean, right now it's 10-16, so it's still in the enemy's favor. But, yeah. I mean, you're scaling support, so probably... Yeah. Oh, this is also another thing on Nasus. This is free stacks, by the way. This jungle cap is free stacks. Look at what I'm doing. Just hitting everything with my first ability. And, you know, when you have nothing to do, don't stay. Don't just walk around. Get this farm. It's going to be so many free stacks for you. But don't get it. Uh, don't leave your lane for it, though, because it's really not worth your lane. Like, as you can see, I'm looking at my lane, and, um, yeah, my lane is coming, so I'm immediately moving to my lane. I actually still lost two minions. That's so stupid. <laughs> that was totally not worth it. I should have just left it. And the dra- the Cloud Dragon is spawning. So, again, the- I'm still at my huge power spike, even though my team is really not doing anything right now. If I'm there, we should win a fight. And they're actually taking a fight already, so instead of pushing, I'm rotating to them. Not the ideal situation, but still good. They are already pretty low, to be honest. Yeah, should be able to just clean this up very easily. Enemies kind of overstayed. I guess Baron. I wonder if you guys got going yeah. for Baron or not. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We... Nice dive though. Nice dive. Yeah, though. yeah. Baron would have definitely been a fight. Call. Yeah. <laughs> Look, at your Moo is already. Yeah. Going for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Our Moo has the macro. He's going for the Baron already. Right. But I think you guys still get it. Might be yeah, risky because they can teleport in, but let's see. I'm almost super quick, so maybe you guys can get this in time. Exactly. I think you're definitely right here. We should have probably just... I mean, it was fine to take the turret, but I would say a little risky indeed. Because if they had if they had yeah. wards, they could have all teleported to it, as you mentioned, and completely like destroyed us. So, yeah, and we... you also had Amumu, who's super quick at yeah. killing the Baron. But usually, in this situation, you have four people that... Just go for that safe Baron, a reset. You have a lot of gold in your back, um, yeah, in your backpack, and buy items so you gain that advantage and use that advantage in the next team fight. Because if yeah. you just have the gold in your pocket and don't have any items yet, and you go for the next fight at Baron, they teleport in, they just clean you all up, and you basically throw the game. Yeah, gold in your pocket is useless. I say that quite often too. Like some people think, yeah, I got five kills already. I need, I can continue while well, they have like 4k gold in their pockets. They, they forget that gold is useless. It doesn't actually give you anything. So yeah, definitely. And um, I'm actually going for force of nature as well in this game. And the reason for that um, is because the enemy only has a djinn. And this is why I said drafting with Nasus is so important. Like these enemies can literally not kill me. They have no proper attack damage carry. They only have djinn. And the other ones are all ability power. Like, take a look at this. I'm just 1v3 diving them and they can't do anything. It's all because of the draft. <laughs> yeah, it's the same if they just go full physical damage. 
Like exactly. the comp is just bad drafted. If they go full physical damage, you just stack armor. And mm -hmm. in this case, if they have four AP damage, you just take magic resistance. Yeah, and a Jin. So, pretty free. Jin doesn't do anything against Nasus. So yeah, um, like I would say, the main part about Nas is pick him in an arrived draft. Like even if you're a god like Nasus, if the enemies have, like if the enemy has Darius and Lee Sin, they're gonna absolutely wipe the floor with you in the early game, for example. But if the Evelyn, like then Nasus is an amazing matchup against Evelyn because she has a very, very rough time to kill him. And of course, Malphite as well, as you mentioned in the earlier game. So definitely know how to draft Nasus, know when to pick him, know what his counters are, and then, you know, just play. I guess most of the times you just want to pick him against tanky top laners and yeah. AP top laners. Like, exactly. Gregor's, Tank, Gregor's pretty free, to be honest. You can, if you get split yeah. Visage, it's pretty free to stack. True. I mean, Gragas is also like not the hardest matchup for Nasus. It's indeed what you mentioned, like tanks and um, uh, ability power. <laughs> Look at this. No, your, your S1 is so strong. Just already. taking the turret on top of it. Yeah. Like the game is over at this point. We should not. There's There should not be a way of them to come back. Yeah. Definitely over. So yeah, that's kind of how Nasus works, you know. I kind of want to encourage people to play Nasus because I don't see him a lot. But then don't pick him in the wrong matchups because I can yes. already see people feeding. If they play against Fiora, Darius, oh um, yeah, Fiora. stuff like that, they're just going to bully you super hard. So, oh Akali, Akali is just going to zone you yes. the whole time. So definitely pick it in the right matchup, or you end up 0-5 or something. So. For yeah, sure. That's going Please to be listen important. to what he just said. Super, super important. You're yeah. going to absolutely feed the game if you pick <laughs> him against a rough matchup. Really, really important. I also mentioned it like five times during this video. Draft. <laughs> like, I, I think I, Akali I, and Fiora are super annoying. Uh, they can just zone you the entire time in the early game. Yeah, least. Darius too. Like, Darius is so annoying as well. These are really, like, you should never pick him against these matchups. So, so hard to play. I would. I think Fiora is the worst matchup. Fiora is probably the worst matchup of Nasus. So if the enemy picks a Nasus, you can just pick Fiora and run him down. Because every time Fiora uses her first ability, Nasus really can't do anything. See, the thing about Nasus is too, um, if you can communicate with your jungler and tell them to gank your lane, if you can get one kill on Nasus, you should be fine. Like if you're one zero with Nasus. Even if you're against Darius, for example, you should be fine because you're gonna like you're gonna get ahead of him, like a level ahead, become tankier, do a lot of damage. If you if you're able to do that with your jungler, it's not easy, of course, but if you're able to do that, then you should be able to still have a nice lane, even though you're against a rough matchup. But obviously, the problem is the enemy jungler can gank you too. And that's why I said again, the draft. Enemy picks Evelyn, you can just pick Nasus. Enemy picks Lee Sin or Wukong, for example. No, yeah, they will just keep you. <laughs> punishing you for free. Exactly. Just gonna keep ganking you, killing you under tower. You're really not gonna be able to do anything against it. Yeah, here we got three turrets. Honestly, I don't really know what's going on in the game right now. We're just kind of pushing. I mean, at this point, it's uh, yeah, it's already one. Three turrets down. Yeah. You have Baron still, and. And the game was 2 on 11. Like, we were losing hard. Team was kind of like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They kind of gave up. But of course, they don't know the power of Nasus. You know, you can always come back with Nasus. Yeah, here we finish it off. So, yeah. I hope it was yeah. a good video. Nice comeback. And that's basically Nasus. Nasus is really great at um, yeah, getting a comeback, usually. Just because of his scaling uh, potential. And if you farm well, he's just going to be absolutely insane in the mid game. Yeah, there it is, S tier Nasus with the Kaisa. Well, all right, that was it. Okay, uh, let's wrap it up. Thanks for being here once again. And yeah, hopefully people will learn how to play Nasus correctly now. And, uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun, so uh, see you later, bro. Okay, bye-bye.